Now let's see how to write equation of a polynomial given table of values. Here is a table of value. For these x values, the function values are given to us. Now, first objective is to find degree of the polynomial. How to do that? Well, we'll find finite differences. You remember finite differences? In finite differences is a process of like y2 minus y1, right? If we continue this process, at, there will be a time when the finite difference will be constant. For that particular time, we can find the equation of the polynomial. Let's see how. Let's first find the first finite difference. Let me make some columns here, okay? Okay. Let's find first finite difference. I'm denoting by this letter delta 1. So what is the finite difference? Difference between the two values, consecutive values. So we will do this minus this to find our finite difference. Now what is minus 16 minus 45? Minus 16 minus 45 is 29. What is 3 minus 16? Minus 3 minus minus 16. So we have to take away from this value, the previous value, and we get 13. Now from 0, take away minus 3, you'll get 3. From minus 1, take away 0, so we get minus 1. From 0, take away minus 1, so we get plus 1. From 9, take away 0, you get 9. From 32, take away 9, you get 23. So you see, the first finest difference, none of them, they all vary, they are not constant. So let's continue the process of finite difference. And let's find second finite difference. And now this time will be 13 minus 29 and we get minus 16. 3 minus 13, we get minus 10. Minus 1 minus 3 gives us minus 4. 1 minus minus 1 will give us 2. 9 minus 1 gives 8. And 23 minus 9 will be 14. This is also not constant. So let's continue and find the third finite difference. Minus 10 minus 16 is what? 6. Minus 4 minus 10, 6. 2 minus of minus 4, 6. 8 minus 2, 6. And 14 minus 8, 6. So this finite difference is constant. Now, that means what? It means that the degree of the polynomial n is equal to 3. Because third finite difference is constant. Now this helps us to find the equation of the polynomial. How should the equation look like? Is a third degree equation. So let's write the equation of third degree function. It is fx equals to ax cube plus bx square, oh sorry, bx square plus cx plus d. Now what we need to find is the values of constants or coefficients a, b, c, and d. How to find that? Well, A is very simple to find. From the finite difference, we can find A. Do you recall a formula? This is A equals to finite difference, whichever was the finite difference, let's say, whatever, if N is the finite difference, was constant, then finite difference, constant finite difference divided by N factorial. In our case, the third finite difference was constant. Therefore, a can be written as the constant value of finite difference was how much? 6 over 3 factorial. What is the meaning of 3 factorial? 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6 over 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. 6 over 6 is 1. So we get A equals to 1. Correct? So now we know A and we are left with 3 variables, B, C and D. 
To find the three variables, what should we do? We should have at least three equations, right? Now, we can select equations from our given data. Now, let's go back to the data, okay? And see which equations are good for us. So, what we will do is, it's good to take 0, 0, minus 1, minus 1, and so we'll take these three equations. Why are we taking these equations? Because we'll end up with smaller manageable numbers. We could have taken these equations, but then calculating 4 cube and things like that would make our job very difficult. Now, so the points which we are considering on our function to calculate are 0, 0, minus 1, minus 3, and 1, minus 1. These three different points on our function will give us three different equations. And solving three simultaneous equations will get our three constants. Okay? So let's continue. So fx, so let me rewrite this equation with these points. So f0 equals to a, I'm, I'm just putting 0 for x, 0 q plus b, 0 square plus c, 0 plus d. So what is f0? f0 is 0, okay? So we get 0 equals to, and we know a is 1. So next time we'll write a as 1, not a. We already found the value of a, correct? And this gives us 0 plus 0 times anything is 0, plus c times anything 0 is 0, plus d. From here, we can say 0 equals to d, right? So we get first constant. What is the first constant? d equals to 0. Now next point, let's take minus 1 and minus 3. So say f of minus 1 equals to a is 1. So I'm just writing 1 for the time being. Next time I won't even write a because we know a is 1. x value is minus 1. So minus 1 to the power of 3 plus b minus 1 square plus c minus 1 plus instead of d I can write 0. Correct? Because we just found d that it is equal to 0. And what is f of minus 1? f of minus 1 is minus 3. Right. Minus 3 equals to minus 1 cube is minus 1. Minus 1. Minus 1 square is plus 1. So it will be just b. And uh, minus 1 times c will be minus c. Right? So this equation will bring the number on this side. So minus 3 plus 1 will give us minus 2 equals to b minus c. Let's call this equation 1. Now, we will use the third point, f of 1. So, f of 1 is how much for you? First, we will replace all the x's with 1. So, we get 1 cube plus b times 1 square plus c times 1. Remember, d is 0, right? What is f of 1? f of 1 is minus 1. So, we will write minus 1 equals to 1 plus b plus c. We will take this one on this side and we get our equation as minus 2 equals to b plus c. Let's call this equation 2. So we got two equations, equation 1 and 2 with two variables b and c. So by elimination we can easily find the values of b and c. Let's add equation 1 plus equation 2. So what do we get? Minus 2 plus minus 2 is minus 4 equals to b plus b 2b. And minus c plus c is 0. Correct? So 2b equals to minus 4 or minus 4 divided by 2 equals to b. That leaves us with b equals to what? Minus 2. So we know now b. We can plug the value of b as minus 2 into our equation and find the value of c. 
So let us put it in equation to itself. So minus 2, b is minus 2, right? Equals to minus 2 plus c. When you take minus 2, this thing, minus 2 plus 2 is c. So minus 2 plus 2 equals to c. Therefore, c is what? c equals to 0. So in this process, you see how we have found all the three variables. Now knowing all this, we will substitute them back into our equation and get the value, equation of the function. So what is the equation of the function for us now finally? fx equals to ax cube, a was 1, x cube, plus bx square, b was minus 2, so you will get minus 2x square, plus cx, now c was 0, so plus 0, plus d, d is also 0, plus 0, therefore our function is fx equals to x cube minus 2x square. So that's the final answer for this. And you will now try to sketch this graph, okay, on the side. The function finally got is fx equals to x cube minus 2x square. To sketch the graph, it is good to factor it x square is common, x square, x minus 2. Now, zeros are at x equals to 0, here it is, and then at x equals to 2, let's say here it is. This 0 and the end behavior, let's check the end behavior. Leading coefficient positive and degree is 3. So it will go opposite ends because the degree is 3 and positive right side up. So you, the graph moves from here to here, right? So let's connect them. Here it is degree 2, it has to turn. Is it okay? So we'll just connect the points and go like this. So that's our graph. This is the function, okay? So that's how the graph will finally look from this data. If you want, you can check your answer. How to check? To check, let's take the value at 2. What is f of 2? If you plug in 2 here, you get what? 2 square times 2 minus 2, which is 0. And we have f of 2 as 0. Correct? So that's how it is. And if you can check all other values, all will be perfectly fine. So in short, when the table of values is given to you, then first step is do finite difference. Continue the process of finite difference. When you get constant finite difference, then we know the degree. If in our case, third finite difference was constant, therefore the degree was 3. Now once you know the degree, then you can find the value of leading coefficient a. And to find the leading coefficient a value, you do the fi constant finite difference di divided by n factorial. In this case, it was 3 factorial. right? Now degree 3 equation can be written as fx equals to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. Now, a we have found from here, we are left with three constants or three coefficients. To find the value of those coefficients, we took three points from our data and solved for them. And finally, got our answer, which was fx as x cube minus 2x, 2 times x square. So that was the answer. We went a step ahead to sketch and see how the graph will look like and this is the graph and you can check the values you can find the value at 3 to check the next value this f of 3 is how much put x as 3 3 squared times 3 minus 2 what is 3 squared 9 9 times 1 9 f3 is 9 which matches with our given data value correct okay thank you